here in preparation for chisel plowing and we have a good friend of mine Logan from Nutrient Ag Solutions and he's running this uh, vector spreader today which has big floater tires to get on to this uh, ground it's a little bit wetter today so we can run with our machine but with this great big thing no problem for him Logan's going to tell us a little bit uh, how this machine's running, a little bit of what we're doing. Uh, these floaters are nice on here because we just went through a pretty good wet hole, but you don't, you can't really tell it and it's not leaving much of a track at all. So why don't you tell us a little bit, Logan, of what we're doing. Yeah, so I'm Logan. I'm with Nutrient Ag Solutions out Marion. Um, what we're doing here is we're doing some spreading. We're spreading a for the nursery. It's going down at 545 pounds the acre. So we got it set up. This is our vector machine. This is our machine that we own. We own this one and then we bring in another one in the spring to keep us going with uh, side dressing. So we'll be running two machines in the spring. So this is all flat rate stuff we're doing right now. Later today we'll be getting some variable rate stuff that we uh, made through the soil samples we did and the Rex came up with. Now what is variable rate, Logan? So variable rate is kind of what it sounds like we're changing the rate as we're going through the field. So right now if you look at my screen it's all green. So if it was variable rate, we'd be changing from 545 to maybe let's say 300 all within the sink, within an acre on some cases. Um, basically it's a good way to manage your ground or be putting down exactly what you need where you need it. Um, some people think it's a good way to save money, but I like to put it as it's a good way to put your money where you need to put it. Um, sometimes I'll end up putting more down and kind of build up where some of your lows are. Um, it's a very good practice and I'm glad that more and more people are getting used to it and adapting it. So when Logan's turning, I'm just going to explain something. This field here is probably 65 acres and what that those zones he's talking about is we're now treating this field like it's 60 individual fields or 30 individual fields so some farmers have one acre grids some farmers have two and a half acre grids and five acre grids we we have on fields this field we're on right now is a five acre grid field but where he's going later today i think they're on two and a half so two and a half acre grids. Most of our apple orchard grounds on two and a half acre grids and in the future we'll hopefully get down to one acre grids. So we're already back here at the other headlands. We are flying. Hate to meet this big beast on the road. So we got to turn up here. How fast does this thing go Logan? This tops out at about 50 going down the road unloaded. Um, we try not to road it with too much fertilizer in. Uh, it'll get too heavy and it'll really wear on it just because of how fast it goes. It's nice because of how far we travel for uh, custom work but it can also be somewhat dangerous because sometimes cars don't realize they're coming at them at 50 miles an hour and they'll pull out in front of you and you can be right up on them. So
my foot over and he keeps stepping on it, it's because this button here is how he engages his auto steer. Spread with right now we're set up right around 60 feet. Um, kind of we're doing some lighter nitrogen for wheat ground, so that's where we got it set up at. Um, we're kind of pushing right around 90 feet, um, which is kind of nice because we also do a lot of custom application spraying. So if we go through and spray uh, corn herbicide, then we come back and do some side dressing. Our sprayer, our one sprayer is set up on 90 foot booms, so you're running right through the same tracks. As long as the guys are right on, which most of the time they are, we've got some very good applicators at this film to see today. Not quite as good as some of the guys, but. Really, Logan's out here today because he was nice enough. He's got a lot of things on his plate with what he's doing, but I asked him if he could come out so we could shoot some video today, and I really appreciate him coming out and doing that for us. And so. dodge all the tie lines. And dodge all the tie lines, that's right. So Matt and I, you can see over in the distance, we put some tile in here this morning. And this machine looks big, it looks heavy, but really with these floaters, it. It uh, really spreads the weight out nice, and uh, but Logan's dodging those tie lines for us so he doesn't crush them with this machine. So what's that thing on the hood do? So that's just kind of another guidance point for us so we don't always have to look at the screen. Um, it's just tell us where our AV line is and how far off we're at. Right now we're doing a headlamp pass so we're not set up on the AV line. But if we get off the AV line once we're on the screen and got it set, it'll tell us left and right whichever way we go to get on this center line. How big is this hopper behind us? How much fertilizer can it in there? So we usually put right around 5 ton fertilizer in there. Uh, we, it works out pretty good. We, we're usually right around two bins on our tender trucks. So we usually fit two bins. I tried to squeeze a little more on this one, but I didn't. Um, it really kind of very, depends on what we're spreading. Um, this is potash uh, phosphate, so it's a little heavier. It's uh, around 64 pounds density, where the nitrogen that we get spreading is lighter, right around so if it's lighter, we can't quite fit as much. Uh, it's going to take some more space. It works out good on the custom application side because we know we can fit two bins on our trucks into the spreader. So it's simple for us back at the plant. We're lining up trucks and sending trucks out. Simple math. Sudan grass last year. We do that a year before our nursery. So what what he's doing.
doing is he's spreading this fertilizer for us and then we're going to start chasing it uh, next week with a chisel plow working that fertilizer in and then we'll probably be planting nursery by the end of next week or the beginning of the week after. So I want to thank Logan for letting us ride along, uh, thanking Nutrien for getting this done for us on kind of short notice. We called them up uh, yesterday I think it was and they were here uh, this afternoon so we really appreciate that. We're quite busy on the farm so it's nice to have a service like this to come in and get some of these tasks done that you know this job would have taken us probably a full day if not longer and you know they're gonna have this banged out in a few hours so with that thanks Logan thanks for explaining to the camera uh, what you were doing today and we'll catch up with you next time thanks see ya. you'll see more of him I'm sure